All right, let's open her up. While you're watching me take the pulley off in fast motion, there's gaffer's tape on that pry bar, by the way, so, so please don't complain about how I'm boogering up the pulley. Not that we're going to use it anyway. But I had some issues with the microphone. Apparently, it wasn't making proper contact in the camera, so you'll notice that the audio was a little erratic. But I did the best I could to clean it up. Now, earlier I found there was a couple of... Uh, I don't know if this will be in focus. A couple of screwdriver notches to help pry this off because it's going to be guided by dowel pins. So let's just lever it up. So here I'm just basically prying the piece apart and there are in fact dowel pins to locate the two castings at the join properly. But overall it wasn't too bad to open up. There we go. All right, so it looks like we got a spring washer, an open bearing, some chowder marks from, I guess, machining. Uh, here's a ceiling surface, matching ceiling surface, another spring washer, and there's a cat. So these bearings are open so they clearly get lubricated by the oil. This I presume would be the oil inlet nozzle. This would be the, the uh, drain nozzle. We don't really care about any of this drive stuff because we'll be getting rid of most of it. Uh, what we care about is the condition of the volute and the actual compressor wheel. So let's go to that next. So here I'm taking out the bolts that hold the little tabs that hold the back plate to the volute. It's pretty straightforward. That's convenient. All right, so let's look at the volume first. It looks all right. Actually, it's kind of nicely machined. Um, I see this thing turning into a finger slicer very quickly. I don't want to do that. And then, well, you know, no harm in trying. Ow! <laughs> Shiza! You <laughs> like <laughs> alerts. Ow. <laughs> Are you bleeding? I see where I get all my smarts from. Clearly I was mistaken. There is harm in trying. Let's try this again. <laughs> How are you moving? Yeah, it's a right hand thread. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I knocked it loose for you. What? Makes sense if there's two of us. Fire! By the way, science note. Aluminum expands far much more... Aluminum... <laughs> Aluminum expands much more than steel. Did that work? I don't know, Billy. Go see the man in the van. What? <laughs> I was that video earlier. So here, for some reason, I felt the need to pull off that bearing, and, well, pretty much the only thing that happened was I pulled the bearing apart, and the ball bearings went everywhere. All right, lead hammer. If you don't have one, get one. They're cool. So that clearly didn't work. I took it to the press. All right, so we're at the press. Sorry, I didn't take a whole lot of time to set this up, but this really shouldn't take a whole lot of effort. And sure enough, it's already coming out. All 
Uh oh. That didn't sound good. That sounded like a crack. Did we hurt something? I hope not. Still turns. And there go all the ball bearings. But, it's out. This clearly falls under one of my dumber ideas, but I didn't feel like building a fixture and I have a crappy carpet. So let's try a slide hammer to get this bad boy out. Oh, that was easy. Okay, so when you take apart a Vortec, this is what you got. Let's see, pieces we don't need. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this, of course. And this we probably can set aside for now. Get all the ball bearings. I'm sure I'm going to I'm sure I'm going to find some on the garage floor when I step on them most likely. So these are the parts that we're interested in. Okay? So this is the volute which we obviously need which has some sharpie in there. This is the plate for it goes together just like that this is the shaft for the impeller you can still see some bearing races on there these this one came off almost completely this one well we'll get them off there is a bearing race still in here uh, I've got a neat trick for how to get those out which I'm gonna actually make in a separate video and then there's these fittings in this this case all of which are gonna come out so the thing that we're interested in right now is the compressor wheel. So this could have been a crapshoot. This could have been literally anything. I don't know if you can make this out, but it says, I don't even know if this is going to be in focus, but model V2, serial number, display. So practically anything could have been in there. By the way, that's the back side of this. So this wheel appears to be an SC trim wheel. Basically it's a Vortec S trim that they turn down the outside of the impellers. This is a balance point. Uh, the, they, as far as I know this was made for the mod Mustangs that like to turn higher RPM. So basically it's a higher RPM wheel. This is not what I was hoping to find. I was hoping to find an S trim wheel. So if anybody has an S trim wheel that they want to donate to the cause let me know. Uh, I could certainly use one. But this is a three inch inducer right here. I measured it already. It's three inches this way and five inches this way. So on the back, there's a bunch of information written, which is going to be sort of tricky to see. Four, I guess it's a 9034, 2A021231R, 0 0.049, 176 over 3. And then, I don't know what this is, LF, it's kind of hard to make that out. There's an 8 written here too. So again, you can see there's actually, somebody took uh, some abrasive to it in a couple of spots. Uh, that's probably why it's a display wheel, and honestly I wasn't too thrilled the way this thing came out, but it appears to be undamaged. Um, if we have to use this thing, we will, to start, but I think most likely, um, basically this thing moves everything up in the RPM band by having the the veins actually machined out like this. So that's exactly what we don't want in this case because as I mentioned earlier that uh, power needed to turn the compressor wheel increases with the cube of RPM. So I'm going to try to find a Vortec S trim impeller. Uh, if anybody has one just let me know and uh, uh, that they're willing to part with for this uh, fun project. This shaft, by the way, right now I'm thinking about reusing it. It's got centers turned into it, which makes it useful for fixturing in the lathe. I'm going to have to take a file to see if this gear is hardened. I, I have to hand it to Vortec, actually. These gears are, are pretty nicely made and they're very robust. Um, 
So hopefully this isn't hardened and we can just turn this down and get rid of these teeth because we won't need them. We'll remove these races like I said before. Uh, we'll drill a, an 8 millimeter hole in here for the motor shaft. Two set screws is what I'm thinking. But there you have it. Dismantled Vortec. Stay tuned. More to come. Subscribe.